online at consumerqb.com. And we're back here in studio. Brandon Rhymes. We've got attorney Jason Coble in the house. Uh, we're going to talk with Jason here in just a moment. Before we do, uh, we like to feature our real estate listings. We always want to help our sellers profit more. So if you're thinking about selling property out there, uh, you've got to check out and sit down with us and, and listen to our marketing plan uh, versus our competitors. We're getting a tremendous amount of extra exposure for you on our 80 different outlets worldwide with Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, uh, 1025 The Bone, AM 860 The Answer, uh, 93.7 FM, many, many different places uh, that we're able to help you get more exposure for your properties. 6023 Beverly Drive in Hudson. This is another waterfront beauty right on uh, the canal with Bay Access in Hudson. This is Beverly Drive in Hudson is uh, 1,856 square feet, three bedrooms, three bath. I got an updated kitchen, handmade cabinetry. Uh, all bathrooms are updated and upgraded. Beautiful property, 36 jet swim spa. Uh, beautiful property with the oversized boat lift at 6023 Beverly Drive in Hudson, Florida. Uh, we got a property at 11512 Bay Gardens Loop. Bay Gardens Loop right here uh, in Tampa Bay, another one of our real estate listings. Uh, this is a property that's 1,510 square feet, three bedrooms, two bath. Got an open, spacious living room and a floor plan. Uh, solid wood cabinets, breakfast bar, community clubhouse, tennis and basketball courts, fitness trails, and more. 11512 Bay Gardens Loop in Riverview, Florida. You can see all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. And a quick shout out to Innovative Solar. If you're thinking about adding solar onto your home, we've got a great company for you here locally in Tampa Bay. InnovativeSolarFL.com. Check them out online. InnovativeSolarFL.com. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. And you can also call our hotline as well, 727-263-3707. That's 727-263-3707. All right, Attorney Jason Coble back in studio. Hey, good to see you, man. Hey, Brennan, how are you? Lots of stuff going on lately. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, yeah. it really is, man. There's there's a lot going on, and uh, and you've been playing a little pickleball, I heard, right? Yeah, Staying yep. Busy. Uh, playing a lot of pickleball, and then they have a big event coming up. Uh, uh, April 2nd is the actual one the pros play, but, uh, you know, pickleball is a big, growing, fast-growing sport, and uh, this is kind of like one of their initial big events where they're having uh, Andre Agassi, uh, Michael Chang, um, John McEnroe, and Andy Roddick are going to compete in cool. singles against each other and then doubles. But there's also an amateur tournament that weekend that I'm in, and my my nephew and I, so the two attorneys from Cobo Law. <laughs> nice. And uh, we're we're playing in the eight and under bracket as far as the uh, the talent level. It goes off this duper rating that they just came out with. But at mm. any rate, we'll see how we do. You know, I, I go there to win, but you'll see it'll be tough. Yeah. To, but the winning team uh from our bracket gets to play a game against john McEnroe and michael chang that'd be awesome yeah that was us and and ten thousand dollars so it'll be fun yeah well whatever happens if you play john McEnroe, you got to dispute the calls with him i know i know that's part of it (laughs) yeah yeah so uh attorney jason coble here in studio and when you are on the show we like to talk about you know injured workers workers comp uh, also personal injury law um Tell us a little bit about what you're up to in that in that area. There's well, there's been I don't know uh, if if you've heard yet or not because it went by went through the legislature in lightning speed. But um, there's major changes now to our, our uh, car accident law here in Florida. Hmm. Huge. Uh, PIP is gone, uh, effective last uh, Friday when the governor signed the new law. So no more uh, personal injury protection. Um, wow. Yeah, that, that used to be mandatory, but now it's gone. But Every policy, at a minimum now, you have to have at least twenty-five thousand dollars, twenty-five fifty bodily injury. Mm-hmm. So there's pros and cons. There's a lot of cons. I'll, be, I'll have to admit. I mean, this was definitely good for insurance companies, bad for uh, the attorneys of people get hurt in, in car accidents. But it is, you know, we have to deal with it now because it's the hmm. law. So minimum bi. Uh, what they also did is they lowered the statute of limitations. You used to have four years. Uh, now it's two. Wow. Cut in half. Very, that's going to save a lot of money. As far as going back and saying, oh, I was hurt in that accident? Well, you know, you have two years from the date of the accident to file suit. Now, once you file suit, it takes a little while to get to trial, but you can't wait longer than two years or else you'll be too late. And it Got used it. to be four. And then they also uh, made suing an insurance company for bad faith a lot more difficult. Mm-hmm. And that's like a situation where, say, the policy is 10000 and the case is obviously 10000 and you give them enough evidence to show them that it should be they should just tender it and then they don't 
you used to be able to nail them for bad faith. Uh, now it's a little a little more difficult. Mm -hmm. So that's going to change the way things are done. So so major changes. If you do get hurt uh, in a car accident, give our office a call because uh, you know we would definitely want to analyze the case, explain which of the new laws are in effect in that case versus some of the old ones remain, but very few. Most of it is completely changed. So you definitely want to talk to an attorney who specializes in that, like my office. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, Jason has been a longtime friend of our show uh, many, many years now. And, you know, supporting the local economy is one of the things we always talk about here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, supporting the good guys here uh, in Tampa Bay. Uh, Jason, I want to get to uh, this, this Trump uh, continued witch hunt. Um, this this prosecu uh, prosecutorial misconduct by uh, Fat Albert Bragg. I got a quick clip I'm going to play here. Former President Donald Trump held his first rally of his 2024 campaign in Waco, Texas this past weekend. This comes as the former president is facing a potential indictment for a hush money payment he allegedly made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. The former president made the following remarks about the case. Prosecutorial misconduct is their new tool and they are willing to use it at levels never seen before in our country. We've had it, but we've never had it like this. The grand. So yeah. Yep. He's right. Um, it's actually disgusting. And and ever since 2015, when he announced it's been happening, like we all know about the uh, Mueller probe, and, and people don't even realize with that investigation, uh, General Flynn's case was d completely thrown out because of prosecutorial, prosecutorial misconduct. They did not divulge exculpatory evidence. That's, right. You have to do that at the time when you charge somebody. That's a constitutional right. Same thing with J6, too. Yeah, oh yeah, same exact thing. In fact, it was just this two couple weeks ago, there was a uh, trial, there, there was a member of uh, that group. Proud Boys? Proud Boys. And uh, the defense attorney was getting ready to call one of the witnesses for, the, for the, his uh, client. And then only at that moment did the prosecution divulge, hey, wait a minute, that's an undercover FBI agent. Wow. Unbelievable. That now, granted, they like to protect, you know, the identity of those undercover agents. But at the same time, we have very strict laws on when, when you arrest somebody, if that, if that undercover agent is relevant at all to his case, you have to divulge that then because that's exculpatory evidence. Right. That poor attorney, he, he planned out his whole defense thinking that that witness was on his side when, in fact, it was undercover for the FBI. Wow. And they did not tell him at any point during the proceedings until the day that person was supposed to testify. Wow. That's disgusting. That is bad. You look at the, the Trump case with uh, 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 Prosecutor Bragg there. He is a state prosecutor. The state law... The statute already ran, so he doesn't even have an option to do that. His only option now, he's bringing federal charges, but guess what? The federal prosecutors already looked at it and said there's no case there. Yeah, exactly. So it, it is just disgusting. Um, I don't. I think if he arrests them and they actually go forward with it, it'll be backfire because I don't think they have any chance of winning that case. They're, they're, they are relying on Michael Cohen right. as, as the star witness, and he's a convicted felon yep. and, and for lying to Congress. Yep. So. That's not a, a, a witness normally a prosecutor would rely on. It's yeah. very disturbing. And, uh, yeah, like you mentioned about the January 6th proceedings, all the FBI undercover informants. Yeah. And then uh, even, the, even the Georgia case, they just recently, uh, a judge on her last day, ruled that the attorney-client privilege could be breached. And now this uh, Trump's attorney had to testify, and, and what, he wasn't allowed to assert attorney-client privilege. <laughs> That's major. Wow. You, you don't do that to just anybody, especially a former president. Wow. So if these cases actually, if they actually go forward with them, I think every one of them will lose. Time will tell because I think they're all political, and that's yeah. scary. That shouldn't happen in America. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just this is like literally you keep hearing that banana sandwich or banana, banana republic. republic and ham sandwich, you know, that, you know, can indict a ham sandwich. Like it, these these different puns or, or you know, that you well, hear, but it's ridiculous. Well, you know, what's true about the ham sandwich is that what that one is is about when you have a grand jury proceeding like they do yeah. in Manhattan, they always say, well, you could get uh, you could uh, get an indictment for a ham sandwich yeah. for, for a grand jury because what that the way they set up is Bragg produces all these witnesses, whatever he wants, right. you know, and then he gets to basically tell his story and, and without another attorney yeah. uh, doing it for Trump. So they're seeing a one way to one sided uh, interpretation of the facts. Right. And so usually it's easy and you don't have to get a majority of the grand jury. Right. So it is very easy. And guess what? Apparently they haven't been able to get the grand jury's votes because they haven't done it. They haven't indicted them yet. Right. So the, the whole point is if you can't even do that, how are you going to prove beyond a reasonable doubt and yeah. actually win?
So yeah. They, yeah, that'll be a huge mistake if they indict him for that. Man, it's interesting. It, it really is. It's interesting, and it's but it's all it's all just so disgusting on the same token, man. Just to hear, just to keep having this happen, and just to think about all the government money that's wasted. You know, we talk about an open border. We talk about drugs killing kids. Like, what if we really? What if our government really focused? on trying to make this the best country, which we are the best country, don't get yep. me wrong, I'm not going to bash our own country like the left does, but just think about all the money wasted and time spent and, and propaganda and, you know, th w with the, you know, the left and the right in terms of the, the rhinos, you know, like this money could have been put to a lot better use, hundreds of millions of dollars with the, with the Clinton, you know, fake uh, dossier and all that stuff. It's actually, it's hard. I don't even think it's possible to actually put a number on it because there's been so many bogus political probes that exactly. ended up worthless. Yeah. And, and and you look at the big ones like the, the Trump Russia was practically three years and all of our, our congressmen and women were involved and, you know, yep. the impeachment baloney uh, proceedings that didn't pan out. Yep. You know, he wasn't convicted in either one. That's a lot of time that those our, our most important people in our country have put into worthless proceedings. Yes, I, I mean it was it would be in the trillions. Honestly, it would guys. be. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's, and so yeah, that's we're, a great point. We're talking with Attorney Jason Coble here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Jason Coble, owner of Coble Law, and I'm your host Brandon Rhymes. And you know, Jason, on, on that note, uh, you know, the the uh, over this past weekend, I had a conversation with some people. And, you know, nice enough people in town for a wedding. And I, I was talking to them about the, you know, they, they started, we kind of, kind of got onto that, that line of uh, politics. And it, and it talked about the big lie. And, they, you know, they were of the opinion that it was a big lie. And I said, no, the big lie was actually, have you seen 2,000 Mules? Have you seen that movie yet? And they say, oh, no, you can make any movie say anything. And I said, okay, well, look, that's the difference then. We look at the facts. We want to see all the information. And I went through the whole talk about cell phone pings and if you ping off a tower and then you've got proof that the person was there. Like, uh, but, but some people, they have their mind made up. Yeah, and and you just can't convince them. Right. And then to, to admit that you don't even have all the facts, but I still have that same mindset. Bingo. And, you know, I think one of the biggest red flags was right after the election in 2020, literally – Two days later, they came up with the entire mainstream media, multiple different outlets, all saying, using the phrase, the big lie. Right. And at that time, I'm like, how could you possibly know if it's a big lie? It's only two days. I mean, we haven't even looked into anything yet. <laughs> exactly. But but what, what I like to do is I, I, you know, I feel that there was a lot of uh, interference, but there's yep. two undeniable, and, and no one could deny these because there's a, a guilty plea. In 2016, the FBI attorney admitted to lying to the FISA court in order to spy on Trump's campaign one month before the election that's yep. undeniable there's a guilty plea there's an fbi attorney who had admitted to that yep that's an election interference now recently james clapper just admitted that letter signed by 51 agents never said that hunter's laptop was russian misinformation and he said the media outlets which were many of them that reported that it was were intentionally misinterpreting the truth to protect biden and hurt trump exactly. so there's another admission of yep. major interference in both so you cannot call it the big lie yeah and if you deny the those two uh events occurred then you're denying reality because yeah. they're, they're two admissions yeah exactly so and and i believe there was a lot more than that but those two are undeniable and disgusting yep. in and of themselves exactly so, you know? yeah let's take a quick break there uh coming back more with attorney jason coble here on the consumer quarterback show and also our feel-good story of the day we always like to tell you something positive here north carolina church raises thousands to pay off cafeteria lunch debt for every county school. We'll be right back. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Ryan, knock out your competition. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here in studio with attorney Jason Coble, uh, Coble Law. We're going to talk about his CNN defamation case that he's got going on as well. Uh, coming up here in just a moment. Uh, before we do, a couple of hot listings here from the real estate team. 10415 Main Street in Thonona, Sassa. This is a corner acre, a corner lot, five acre parcel of land on Main Street in Thonona, Sassa. This one's a great opportunity. It's a commercial property uh, right on a main corner, uh, and you can build and develop right on this lot. You've got five acres zone commercial, Main Street, Thonona, Sassa, hot listing here in Tampa Bay. And 
Let's look at this other property here. I've got a property at 1641 Tear Trail in Clearwater. Uh, beautiful Pinellas County, Tear Trail in Clearwater is another one of our hot listings from the Platinum MVP team. Uh, you got 2555 square feet, four bedrooms, three bath, completely updated. And you got new quartz countertops, open floor plan, vaulted ceilings right here in Clearwater, Florida, 1641 Tear Trail, Pinellas County. And you can see all of our listings at Platinum MVP team. Dot kw.com all right here's our feel good story a few years ago pastor spargo's uh, city church in gastonia north carolina started hope closet uh, giving away clothing for those kids who were displaced maybe displaced or kids in schools who needed shoes a few weeks ago he ran across a news article about the growing number of kids whose school lunch accounts remain unpaid School lunch debt is a problem for districts in North Carolina, including Gaston County, where Pastor Spargo uh, learned that families owe a total of $13,000. And the pastor was quoted as saying, we decided to take that, uh, that we were going to share it with our church and then just take up an offering and see what would happen. In less than two weeks, the congregation raised $23,000, and that donation from that large Christian church will eliminate student debt next year and will help the rest of the, the year as well pay off debt for the next school year. Praise God, uh, Pastor Spargo said. And there you have it, our feel-good story of the day. All right, we got attorney Jason Coble in the house, Coble Law. Uh, Jason, so, the, you know, holding people accountable, this is that's the great part of our justice system because you can do that. Even if you are David versus Goliath, you have that opportunity. And I think you've got uh, one of those cases in, in play right now with CNN. Yes, uh, I'm very proud to be part of this case. Now, where we're at right now in the case is uh, the complaint was filed. We're having some uh, motion hearings on it. CNN wants, of course, throw it out. Of course, you know, we disagree. Uh, we recently amended our complaint. There's going to be a big hearing coming up on whether or not the case could even proceed further in the very new fu near future. So when we get past that, and then we do discovery, and I believe trial is set for tentatively right now, not March of 24. But what that case is about is uh, basically defamation is someone uh, tells a third party or, or, public or makes a publication of, of an untruth, a statement that's not true. It could be in writing, it could be uh, verbal. Um, uh, in writing is libel, uh, that's that type of defamation. Verbal is slander, uh, is that type of defamation case. Uh, in this particular case, what it was, was um, there were some private individuals of the family that I represent who were uh, included in a picture uh, on a news story CNN was doing about QAnon. Wow. And, and when their picture was up, it said gathering of Q followers and a little Chiron on the, on the bottom of the screen. None of the, they are not Q, Q followers, Jeez. and unfortunately, people saw this, assumed that they were Q followers, and, and caused a lot of trouble. Yeah. And I don't want to get into all the details because there's a gag order. So that's the gist of it. Um, and uh, you know, usually whenever you sue, um, and that and your client is a public figure, it's harder. Whenever you sue a media media outlet, it's harder. But these people are private individuals, yes. so for them, it, it's the regular standard. So I feel strongly about it. We'll see how it plays out. And I also just read that um, Governor DeSantis is actually looking at taking away some of the uh, privileges and protections that the media has in defamation cases, Good. which I think is great because there's been unquestionably a change in the way media uh, reports facts, right. leaves certain facts out, reports on things on, you know, dishonestly. Yeah. So uh, it's that, you know, what my mother always told me is if you ever find yourself fortunate enough to be in a position of power, don't abuse it or you're going to lose it. Right. So I, I feel that that's actually a good thing that, uh, you know, they deserve to have some of those protections taken away, given the way they, yeah. they've conducted themselves the last six years or yeah. so. Absolutely. Um, and the same thing with the pharmaceutical companies. I mean, they put forth these drugs and they 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 know in, in, the, in their clinical trials, you know, all this is coming out. Right. Uh, and, and thanks for guys like. Um, uh, Project Veritas, and, and you know, because they actually kicked him out of his own company, started a new one. I heard a great uh, James O'Keefe interview the other day. Uh, but yeah, you know, pharma, big pharma, you know, all the money behind them, and then, but, but yeah, they can put these drugs out, and if you happen to get harmed, you can't sue them. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame. And then I know I just saw a great show with Michael Keaton on it, and uh, I can't think of what network it was about um, OxyContin. Yep. How they literally, they got approved years ago based on a lie that it was not addictive. Right. I mean, but if you have enough money and power in this country, unfortunately, you're able to take advantage of it. That's what I, I think in all yeah. these big media outlets, the big pharmaceutical companies, they're all abusing their power. That's true. It's sad. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Social media, big time, the, you know, the big tech companies. 
uh, and you know Russell Brand's really impressed me with some of his comments too lately. He's he's very eloquent. Isn't oh he? man, I watched the one that uh, everybody was playing on uh, that that show on HBO. I can't think of the guy's name, but he was on there. Yeah, with, Bill Maher. Yeah, Bill Maher. There you go. He was on his show with a, a pundit from MNS, MN, MSNBC. Yeah, and uh, it was he just tore him up. Yeah, I mean, it was just beautiful. Because, you know, the pundit was uh, talking about how biased Fox is. And he's like, all right, yeah. uh, talk about the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you watch a couple of minutes of that, you can see how biased they are. Yeah. And uh, he called them out, and uh, the, the pundit didn't know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's great. It, it's a great clip. I love that. I love yeah. that. You know, and that's what's great, you know, about social media is that you can share and you can see. And when I look at my feed, it's like, man, people, it seems like people are getting it. And it seems like if we had fair elections with no, uh, you know, with these, these, um, you know, yes, we want IDs. I want to be ID'd. I, and that if you think that they shouldn't be ID'd, why is that? Hmm, is it because you're trying to cheat? I'm t what, what else could the reason be? Right? That makes sense to me. I've heard their their uh, excuses. They get racism as one. I don't understand that. I mean, yeah. the ID should be the same for every, regardless of race. I, I don't get that. Exactly. But, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, a lot of it's a strange time in our country's history. Yeah. And I just hope we could right the ship. That's right. We got to. Not, Right we got now. to. Yeah, yep. we got to we got to write the ship. That's absolutely right. Attorney Jason Coble, Coble Law, work with him on all of your personal injury law, auto accidents, uh, also work comp law. If you're getting billed as an injured worker, there might be some opportunity there to, to have a consultation with Jason Coble. Uh, he's a litigator. He will go to the courthouse for you and take your case and present it. 727-263-3707. That's 727-263. 3707. That's our new hotline. Call or text the hotline. Uh, Jason, final uh, 10 or 15 seconds yep. back to you, man. Real quick, I got a feel good story of my own. I, uh, My team, my teammate and I paid $800 to get in this tournament this weekend at the, the Pickleball Slam. 96 teams. I just found out this week that an unnamed person paid for all the team's entries. That's $76,800. Wow. wow. That's pretty cool, man. Very cool to see that. That's a, that's a good uh, well, Samaritan. I don't know what you call that, but, yeah, it's nice. It's yep. a nice little break for you. Awesome. Well, good luck with the tournament, and we'll catch up with you later on. Attorney Jason Coble. want to thank also Mark Hay, 21st Century Financial Group, uh, all of our producers as well, Alex, Nicole, and Jose. Thank you for all of your efforts, and thank you for watching our show, supporting the show. Subscribe to the channel. Our YouTube channel, Brandon Rhymes Realty, would mean the world to us. And please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play.